you've lost how to stack prints using just a slicer. Um, so first of all, if you're doing multi-board stuff, um, these are these are the settings that they recommend. Um, three wall loops, everything else default. Um, everything in default except for seam position at random for added strength, and then ironing of the top surfaces. Okay, and everything else stays the same. This is for the method of stacking without a layer of different filament type in between. That's a little bit different process, but for this process is how you do it. So you're going to bring in your file just like you normally would. Grab it here. And then you're just going to go ahead and copy and paste it. So you can do that a number of ways. You can go to clone or you can just hit command C, command V. That's what I usually do. Um, and so now we have these these two parts. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is with this new one that just, we just brought in, we are going to center it. So they are both just sitting right on top of each other right now, which is obviously not going to work other than just giving our slicer trouble. So what we want to do is go into objects, select both of our parts on this plate, and we're going to merge them, which seems a little bit weird. Um, but we're going to do something once we've merged them. And it, it doesn't work unless you merge it. So we're going to grab one of them, select our Move tool, and move it just up far enough that we can see some space in between them. Okay, then we're going to select both of them again. And we're going to go up here to this Assemble tool. And we're going to select our face one. This is the one that does not move. So that's going to be the one that we want to stay on the bottom or just stay in place. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select this top layer of the bottom piece. Then we're going to select the one that's moving. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. And we're going to select the bottom of this upper one. Okay, and then by default, it gives you this, um, this distance. Okay, and we're just going to make that the same as our layer height, which is 0.2. And now they are separated by just one blank layer. And what that does is, after it irons this top layer on this object, it leaves a blank layer, which essentially makes this second piece print in air, um, which makes that surface a little bit messy. Um, but that's the surface that's going to be against the wall, so it doesn't really matter um, what it looks like for me personally. If it's going to bug you and you want perfect on, on both sides, then you want to use the other method where you use a separate filament type to interface between the two. But this one, you don't have to deal with any kind of filament swaps or anything like that. Um, and it's pretty easy to do that way. You can then from there add as many more as you want. Um, you can even copy and paste the two at a time and then do them by two. And then it goes a little bit faster once you've done it once. But that's the process. Um, and it's worked great for me. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll, I'll help you out.